I sent for him, he'll say he'll come. What kind of flood should I serve him? What present should I give him? It's easier to buy young people than to beg or borrow them. Oh, I'm talking too loud. Where's Malvolio? He's very serious. And which is right for someone to mourn him like me? Where's Malvolio? He's coming, madame. But he's acting very strangely. He must be possessed by the devil. Why, what's the matter with him? Is he talking nonsense? No, he just smiles. Oh. You should have a gardener in, in here. Um. <laughs> Ask him here. I'm as crazy as he is. If sad craziness and happy craziness are equivalent. Oh, yeah, what's going on? Hello, sweet lady. You're smiling. I sent you for about a sad occasion. Sad, my lady? I could be sad if I wanted to be. <laughs> These crisscrossing legs are duking off the circulation in my legs a bit, but who cares? <laughs> and the sonnet says, If you please one special person, you please everyone who matters. Why, what's the matter with you? My legs may be yellow, but I don't feel blue. I was addressed to him, and my orders must be obeyed. I think we know who his fancy handwriting that was. Don't you think you should go to bed, Malvolio? To bed? Yes. For heaven's sake, why are you smiling like that and kissing your hands so much? How are you feeling, Malvolio? You're asking me. Noble people don't eat the idiots. You're acting so brazen toward my lady. Don't be afraid of greatness. It was well written. What do you mean by that, Malvolio? Some are not for greatness. What? Some achieve greatness. What are you saying? And some have greatness thrust upon them. Remember who liked your yellow stockings? Your yellow stockings? And wanted to see your laces crisscrossed and legs. Crisscrossed? Go ahead. A happy new life is there if you want it. Am I your new life? If you don't want it, just keep acting like a um, holy servant. This is completely insane. Madam, Count Orsino's young messenger has returned. It was hard to get him to come back, but he's, he's here now waiting for you. Yes. I'll go to him. Maria, take care of this poor fellow here. Where's my cousin Toby? Have some of my servants take him of my volio. I give him half my jewelry to keep anything bad from happening to him. Man, you really lucky. <laughs> Where is he for God's sake? I don't care. Where is he for God's sake? I don't care if all the devils in hell cram together to possess him. I still want to speak to him. Here he is. Here he is. How are you, sir? Go away. Go away. I don't want to see your face. Let me enjoy my privacy. Ooh, listen to the scary devil speaking from inside him. Didn't I tell you, Sir Toby? Lady Olivia wants you to take care of him. Aha, uh -huh. and does she? Come on, come on. Calm down, calm down. We need to treat him gently. Let me take care of this. How are you, Malvolio? How are things? Come on, man. Just say no to the devil. Think about it. He's the enemy of mankind. Do you even know what you're talking about? Look at that. He acts insulted if you say bad things about the devil. I hope God's not bewitched. You're in circle and take the witch doctor to find out. Sure thing. We'll do it tomorrow morning. My lady would never want to lose him. What are you saying, mistress? Oh, Lord. Please keep quiet. This is not the way to act. Don't you see you're upsetting him? Leave me alone with him. Gentleness is the only way to go. Gentle, gently. The devil inside him is rough. We can treat it roughly. So how are you, my little pretty bird? How are you doing in there, my sweet little chicken? Sir. Yes, dear little chick, come on, come along with me. Shut up, man. You're serious enough to know not to play games with Satan. F that dirty coal, bla bla coal miner of a day. Get him to pray. My prayers, you hussy. No, I'm telling you, he refuses to hear anything about religion. Go hang yourselves, all of you. You're lazy and shallow. I'm not like you. I have a higher future waiting for me. You'll know about it. 
You, you'll know more about it later. Is it possible? I, I can play this unrealistic. Really taking this prank to heart. He's playing the role perfectly. No, follow him before he divulges the prank and ruins everything. Wow, we're really gonna drive him crazy. The house will be so much more quieter. Come on, let's put him in a dark room and tie him up. My niece th already thinks he's insane. We can go on like this, punishing him and having some fun until we're tired of it. Then we can take mercy on him and let him out and talk about how well the joke went. We'll also worship you for setting up this trick. Let's do it, let's do it. Here's more insanity for us. Here's the challenge, read it. It's bursting with fighting words. Isn't that aggressive? Yes, it is, I, th I think. Just read it. Give it to me. Young man, whatever you are, you're a real scum bucket. It's very courageous. Don't even ask why I call you that, because I won't give you any explanation. Good thing, I put it in. It keeps you from getting in trouble with the law. You come to see Lady Olivia, and she's kind to you, but you're a complete liar. That's why I'm challenging you to a duel. Nice and short, and full of sense, or good sense. Or should I say nonsense? I'll ambush you on your way home, and if you're lucky enough to kill me, Good. You'll be killing me like a common criminal, a mugger. You still haven't said anything in community and good. Good luck, and may God have mercy on one of our souls. He may have mercy upon mine, but I have better chance of surviving. So watch, watch out. Signed your friend, if you treat him right, and your sworn enemy, Andrew Argachik. If this letter doesn't make him fire, I don't know what will. You might have a great opportunity to give him, give it to him right now. He's conducting some business with my lady, and sooner or later he'll leave. Go, Sir Andrew. Look out for him in the corner of the orchard as you, if you are a sheriff's deputy. As soon as you see him, draw your sword, and if, and as you draw, start swearing horribly. Sometimes a swear word, like a well-shot arrow, makes you look more brave and manly than getting in a fight would. Now go! Don't worry about me. It's time for a battle. Twat. Don't deliver this letter. Here comes the messenger with your niece. Leave them alone until he sets up home and then follow him. Well, I'll think of some horrible way to face up the challenge. I've said too much to someone with a heart of stone. I foolishly jeopardized my honor and reputation. I hate myself for behaving that way, but I just had to and no criticism could have stopped me. Lord acts just as crazy with love as you do. Take this um, piece of jewelry. There's a picture of me inside. Don't refuse it. It <laughs> won't annoy you like me because it doesn't have a voice. And I beg you, please come here again tomorrow. What could you possibly ask of me I wouldn't give you as long as it didn't damage my honor of self-respect? Nothing except for your true love for my Lord. How could I honorably give him what I already given you? I'll give it back to you. Just come again tomorrow. Goodbye. A devil like you could lead me to hell. So Toby tells Cesario that Sir Andrew wants to fight, so they cross swords. I have the high ground now! I certainly will, sir. And as far as what I promised you, I'm as good as my word. This is the man, do your job. Antonio, you're under arrest in the orders of court, Orsonio. You must be mistaking me for someone else, sir. No, uh, sir, not at all. I haven't recognized your face perfectly. I recognize your face perfectly, even without a sailor's cap on your head. Take him away, he knows I recognize him. This has happened because I came looking for you, but there's nothing I can do about it now. I'll take what's coming to me. What you do now that I have asked for you my prayers back? I'm more upset about not ha being able to help you than uh, I am about what's going to happen to me. You look so confused. Don't worry about me. The end. The end. Uh, well,
will feel that. Nah.